high anxiety whenever you're near high anxiety it's you that i fear hi this is sid yiddish you've probably seen me on youtube and jewtube i'm starting off my new campaign give a leaf keep the belief Hear that? It's responding. See? I throw out saying I write poetry, I write fiction, I act, I sing, I tap dance, uh, you name it, I, I, I can do it and I've done it. The show this morning, tonight, I think was um, actually interesting. I've never played, it's been a while since I played in front of teenagers, uh, you know, people who aren't over uh, 35. <laughs> How did I know I had anxiety? Uh, primarily, I knew because of all the actions I felt and everybody, everybody who uh, observed me thought I was uh, crazy or, or weird. I'd behave very weirdly, which is probably how I ended up the way I ended up. was a loner pretty much in high school, uh, college I was one too, um, kept to myself, uh, just a lot of, uh, scared a lot, I was always scared, I was always um, uh, frightened of what was coming next and I didn't know how to handle it, I had no clue how to handle it. You want me to kiss your ass? Well bend over baby, here comes my foot. I do not need your cry ass shit. Tempers rise, take a chill. Bite it, you scum. Bite it, you scum. Bite it, you scum. Bite it, you scum. Yeah, one day when the end is near, I'll be laughing at your fear. One day when there is no one, who'll be fucking up my fun? No man will, no way. Bite it. You scum, bite it, you scum, bite it, you scum, bite it, you scum. Uh, this piece is uh, about my discovery of my finding out that I actually have depression. I lived with anxiety and depression almost all my life, and uh, I wasn't taking any medicine for it, and uh, apparently I turned out just fine. <laughs> The panic attacks probably started when I was a teenager, and that started with screaming. Just It would be screaming. It was from teasing. Uh, I have uh, three brothers and a sister, and um, there was a lot of teasing going on in my family, and it was constant. It was just constant. And finally, I would just, like, just let out by screaming. <laughs> Yeah. 
I realized I had anxiety probably as early as a, as a teenager. Um, uh, there was, it was about probably about the same time that uh, I must have discovered that that I had depression too. But the depression wasn't wasn't uh, discovered until I was about uh, 38. Well, yes, here I am chronicling my life in the Seattle airport where I've been since about 2.30 this afternoon. As you can tell, I'm just a little tired. I don't want to get back home to the snow and ice, which is not nice, but that's what you do when you pay the price for a city that slaps you on the titty and you think it's so witty but you feel so shitty. I was, I was actually uh, worried. I was worried because that always happens. I've never, I've never played here, and it's to me, it looks like a, old, it looks like an old speakeasy to me. Just, just by the way it looks, it just looks like this old bar, or old speakeasy, or some, some, some redneck uh, white boy bar or something. You know? <laughs> just, just by the looks of it, audiences, um, you know, audiences. Uh, you know, are, are different from time to time. Uh, you know, as as one would gather, some people get booed, some people walk out um, because they don't understand it. I think it went well tonight, considering um, everybody was very, everybody was very gentle, and they were very loving and kind. And that was something I probably really appreciate more than anything in, in a performance that they actually listened, and listening is extremely important. Um, both in in and out of you know in and out of costume. Slithers down your throat, hangs you by no 